Good afternoon. Welcome to Legal Learning. My name is Marinette Philippe with Coast to Coast Legal Aid. Today we'll be talking about SNAP benefits, also known as food assistance or food stamp benefits. The food assistance program helps individuals and families purchase nutritional food need needed to maintain and promote good health. If your household passes the food assistance program's eligibility rules, the amount of food assistance benefit you get depends on the number of people in your household and how much money is left after certain expenses are subtracted. Now, a, certain, a household is considered of people who are on um, purchase and prepare their food together, and th that is considered one household. So if you purchase and prepare your food with the individuals in your house, you will be considered as one household. In order to be eligible for benefits, you will need to be able to prove your identity. You must live in the state of Florida. You must also be a US citizen or a legal permanent resident for at least five years. You must also be able to provide a social security number or proof that you have applied for one. And also parents or relatives applying for food assisted benefits for dependent children who have absent parents must cooperate with the state child support enforcement office to establish paternity and obtain child support for that child. Failure to cooperate without good cause can result in the removal of the individual from the food assistance benefits. Um, an example of a good cause can be sometimes the parents or caretakers or the child can be physically harmed or emotionally harmed if this information is provided. Now we're moving on to assets. Um, there are liquid assets and non-liquid assets. And these assets are items of values that are owned um, single or jointly by an individual who has access to the cash value upon disposition. Liquid assets are cash assets or assets that are payable in cash on demand. Non-liquid assets are assets that cannot be readily converted to cash and a determination of whether each asset should be included or excluded will be made. Um, some types of assets are bank accounts, um, cash on hand, any properties or stocks. And for the um, benefit, for the budget purposes, um, incomes is classified into two categories. There's earned income and un unearned income. Earn Earned income is the receipt of wages, salaries, commission, or profit from an individual performance of work or services or from self-employment. Um, unearned income is income from which there is no performance of work or services. So um, some type of unearned incomes can be um, your social security benefits, your retirement, um, unemployment benefits, or workers, workers, workers' compensation, support payment, and even gifts. And some of the expenses that they do take in consideration is your shelter expense, which is for your rent or your mortgage, any medical expenses more than $35 for an elderly or disabled household member, and if you have child care expenses. Um, so if you have um, cost of child care when you need to work, um, if you need to seek work or if you're intending training for work. And also if you are court ordered to pay child support, those are one of the other expenses that you can get a deduction for. And um, just please note that these, some of these, um, except there are some exceptions for these rules. Who is not eligible? Individuals conducted of um, convicted of drug trafficking. Um, most students age between 18 through 49 that's enrolled in college or other institution of higher education at least half time are not eligible for food assistance benefits. Um, there are some exceptions also to this. If you are taking care of a de dependent household member that is under the age of six or if you're working a minimum of 80 hours per, per month. And also, if you are a non-citizen without qualified status, you will not qualify for benefits. SNAP benefits are designed to 
um, to supplement a household budget for food purchases. So the amount of benefits received is based on the household size and financial circumstances. So therefore some um, household members may need to um, use some of their own cash to, to purchase uh, food, to purchase enough food for the month because this is a supplement. SNAP recipients are responsible for reporting changes as they occur to avoid any overpayment. Um, you can also report your changes online at the um, Access Florida website, which is www.myflorida.com forward slash accessflorida.com. And you can also call the uh, Florida Customers Call Center number and the toll-free number is 1-866-762-2237. Now, once you receive your benefits, the benefits will be deposited to a EBT card, which is your electronic debit card. Um, food assistant benefits are limited to purchase of food items only. And now you can also use it online at most retailers. Um, to submit your application, um, an individual can um, apply online by going to the website listed here, which is www.myflorida.com forward slash access Florida. And you can also submit a paper application and that application can be mailed or faxed um, to, um, to the local office. An application must have the applicant name, address and signature. This here is just a snapshot of the original, of the actual page where you can log in so you can create your application, um, create a username and password and you can complete your application. You can check your statuses here. You can um, upload documents that's being requested by DCF. You can um, report changes also. Um, and this website is available to you 24 seven. Um, there are three basic steps in the SNAP application process. You fill out your application and the date that the department received your application, that is your application date. Um, after the application is received, you may receive a, a notice so you can conduct the interview. During that interview, um, they will ask you a series of questions concerning the household circumstances that was provided on the application. If there was any discrepancy, they will address that also during the interview. And then after that, your your your, el your eligibility is verified. And it takes about approximately 30 days to process your application before you can start receiving benefits, but they do have expedite um, services that allow the initial, initial SNAP benefits to be issued quickly within seven days, but that is to households with little to no income. And if you do not have all the required information while you're completing your application, we still urge you to complete the application with as much information that you can, so you can submit it. Because like I said before, the um, date of your application, the date is submitted, that is the date of the application, and that is the date that you will start receiving benefits. This here is just a general worksheet that is a part of the DCF guidelines. This income chart shows the gross and the net income limit and the benefit amount for the number of people in the household. So say you have five people in your household, um, the maximum allotment benefit will be $929 that you can receive after all um, the eligibility screening is completed. Okay, we have ABODs. This is able-bodied adults without dependents. Individuals between the age of 18 and 49 years of age who do not have dependent children and is able to work, but currently unemployed may only be eligible for SNAP benefits for three months within a three year period. Recipients may not receive benefits from one or more uh, state or be included in one or more than, more than one household. Florida has increased all SNAP recipients benefits amount to the maximum monthly allotment based on the household size. And as a result of the Consolidated Appropriation Act effective January 2020, SNAP benefits increased for households by 15%. You can also and always check www.myfloridafamilies.com for any updates. And if you have any questions, or you need any assistance with food assistance, please contact our intake paralegal, Manuela Felix at 
1-800-273-2490. Thank you so much for watching and tune in Thursdays at noon for more legal learning. Please like and follow us on Facebook and YouTube.